Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si... Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Matatag Curriculum, PE and Health, Grade 4, Quarter 3, Lesson 4. Our topic for today is about benefits of a balanced meal and balanced diet in engaging in physical activities. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Let's start! Learning competency. Describe the benefits of eating a balanced meal when engaging in physical activities. Objectives. First, discuss the benefits of eating a balanced meal in engaging in physical activities. Second, apply the balanced meal as one of their healthy eating habits. And third, prepare a balanced meal to stay healthy and allow active participation in physical activities. Content First, essential nutrients and their functions. Second, benefits of a balanced meal and balanced diet in engaging in physical activities. Day 1 Let's have an activity, jog and drink experiment. Ask the students to form three lines. Let them jog around the basketball court five times. For every round, ask the students to stop and drink their water. After resting for 15 seconds, ask them again to jog around the court. After finishing the fifth round, ask the students to gather around. After the activity, answer the following questions. Number one, how do you feel after the activity? Number two, what made you survive the activity? Number three, why is it important to eat a healthy meal before engaging in a physical activity? And number four, how does eating nutritious foods influence your physical performance? Number five, how did you feel when you drank water after jogging? Number six, how does your level of physical activity influence your water needs? And number seven, how important is water to maintaining overall health and well-being? Lesson Purpose Sing a healthy eating song. A healthy meal, healthy eating song, healthy habits, ping pong songs for children. Enjoy kids! Healthy eating. Eating healthy means following a healthy eating pattern that includes a variety of nutritious foods and drinks. It also means getting the number of calories that's right for you. Not eating too much or too little. Balanced meal. A balanced meal is a snapshot of a diet that covers the three core food groups. As seen on this portion plate, the balance is a quarter proteins, a quarter carbohydrates, and half vegetables. This means eating a wide variety of foods in the right proportions and consuming the right amount of food and drink to achieve and maintain a healthy body weight. Subtopic number one. 
benefits of balanced meal and balanced diet in engaging in physical activities. What are the principles of healthy eating? This is the Filipino Pyramid Food Guide for today's lifestyle, your daily eating choices. Now let's have it one by one. The Filipino Pyramid Food Guide shows how to eat healthy by choosing the right foods in the right amount. First is drink a lot. Drink plenty of water every day to stay hydrated. Next is eat most. Eat foods that give you energy like rice, bread, corn, and noodles. The third one is eat more. Include lots of vegetables and fruits to get vitamins and keep your body strong. The fourth one is eat some. Eat fish, meat, eggs, nuts, and dairy products to help your body grow and repair. The fifth one is eat a little. Eat very small amounts of fats, oils, sugar, and salt because too much is unhealthy. Next, we also have the food pyramid of Go Foods, Grow Foods, and Glow Foods. Now, let's have it one by one. This food pyramid shows how foods help the body in different ways. It is divided into Go Foods, Grow Foods, and Glow Foods. First, we have Go Foods. Found at the bottom of the pyramid, includes bread, rice, cereals, pasta, and other carbohydrates. These foods give energy to the body to run, play, and work. The second one is Grow Foods. Includes meat, fish, eggs, milk, and cheese. These foods help you grow strong and build muscles and bones. The third one is Glow Foods. Includes fruits and vegetables. These foods help your body to stay healthy and give you vitamins for glowing skin, strong eyes, and good health. We also have here the junk foods. Eat less. Remember, eat less. At the top are junk food, sweets, and sugary drinks. Eat this very little because they are not healthy. We also have here the Pinggang Pinoy. Pinggang Pinoy is a healthy food plate guide created by the Department of Science and Technology, Food and Nutrition Research Institute or DOST FNRI in the Philippines. It shows the right amount and types of food that Filipinos should eat every meal to stay healthy. So what's on the Pinggang Pinoy plate? Go foods, energy-giving foods. Examples, rice, bread, corn, noodles. These foods provide energy for daily activities. Grow foods or the body-building foods. Examples, fish, meat, eggs, 
milk, and beans. These foods help you grow strong and build muscles and bones. Glow foods. These are body protecting foods. Examples, vegetables and fruits. These foods keep you healthy and protect you from sickness. Of course, we also have water. Drink plenty of water for proper hydration. Day 2 Learner's Takeaways Activity Nutrient Puzzle Circuit Size Here's the procedure. The teacher sets up a circuit. The students need to solve word puzzles about nutrients, healthy foods, and locomotor movements in each circuit. After solving the puzzle, the students need to do the locomotor movement based on the number on the flag. For example, the teacher will put in one station a flag with number 10 on it. After the students will solve the jumbled letters, S-T-A-F for the word FATS and P-O-H for the word HOP. The students will hop 10 times. And this is what it looks like. After the activity, the teacher will ask the students to go back to their proper places and complete the statements. The teacher will ask volunteers to share their takeaways. Number one, I need carbohydrates to blank. Number two, I need proteins to blank. Number three, I need some fats to blank. Number four, I need vitamins and minerals to blank. Number five, I need to drink water regularly to blank. And number six, I need to eat healthy foods to blank. And number seven, I need to eat balanced meal to blank. Good luck, kids! For the reflection on learning, Answer the following questions. Number one, how do you plan to encourage your family members to eat healthy foods? Number two, how do you plan to help promote the advocacy of water conservation in order to help ensure that everyone will have clean water to drink? For our formative assessment, letter A, Choose the letter of the best answer. Write your answer in the space provided. Number 1. Why is it important to eat a balanced diet? A. To maintain overall health and well-being. B. To be physically active. C. To have a good body shape. D. To win in a sport competition. The correct answer is letter A, to maintain overall health and well-being. Number 2. What is the primary goal of eating healthy foods? A. Quick weight loss B. Building muscle mass C. Optimal overall health and well-being or D. Prevent illness the correct answer is letter C, optimal overall health and well-being. Number 3, which of the following statements is not true about drinking water regularly? A, it helps in the absorption of nutrients. B, it increases energy. C, it reduces the need for regular meals. Or D, it helps in the digestion process. The correct answer is letter C. It reduces the need for regular meals. 
Number four, which of the following statements is not true about how a balanced diet may contribute to disease prevention? A. It provides the energy to become physically active. B. It provides essential nutrients needed by the body. C. It increases the immunity of the body. Or D. It eliminates the need to be vaccinated. The correct answer is letter D. It eliminates the need to be vaccinated. Number 5. Why are fats needed in the milk plan? A. Fats provide energy storage in the body. B. Fats slow the nutrient absorption. C. Individuals need fats to gain weight. Or D. Fats are needed to cook the food. The correct answer is letter A. Fats provide energy storage in the body. Number 6. What is the food pyramid? A. A shape made of food items. B. A triangle-shaped cart that tells us what kind of food is best and healthiest to eat. C. A type of food that pyramids up. Or D. A restaurant with pyramid decorations. The correct answer is letter B. A triangle-shaped chart that tells us what kind of food is best and healthiest to eat. Number 7. How does the food pyramid help us? A. It tells us what games to play with food. B. It helps us make healthy food choices and have a balanced diet. C. It shows us how to build a real pyramid with food. Or D. It teaches us how to become professional chefs. The correct answer is Letter B. It helps us make healthy food choices and have a balanced diet. Number 8. Which food group should we eat the most servings in a day? A. Dairy B. Proteins C. Vegetables or D. Water The correct answer is letter C. Vegetables. Number 9. Which food group includes foods like chicken, fish, and eggs? A. Grains B. Fruits C. Proteins or D. Sweets and Treats The correct answer is letter C. Proteins Number 10. Which of the following food groups provides us with important vitamins and minerals that help us grow. A. Fruits B. Dairy C. Proteins or D. Grains The correct answer is letter A. Fruits For our identification, Directions complete the food pyramid with the seven main food groups using the words inside the box. Here are the choices. Milk, yogurt and cheese, water, cereals, fruits, vegetables, meat and fish, fats, oils and sweets. And here is the answer for identification. Number one, cereal. Number two, meat and fish. Number three, fruits. Number four, meat, yogurt, and cheese. Number five, vegetables. Number six, fats, oils, and sweets. And number seven, water. Maraming salamat sa pananood! Huwag kalimutang i-like at mag-subscribe para sa higit pang educational content. I-click ang bell icon para ma-update ka sa ating mga bagong video. Salamat!